Hello friends, welcome to today's video where we've got news of a brand new Max Raid event happening right now in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So it's not two minutes ago since we've had the Milsery event update in Pokemon Sword and Shield that's ran for the last couple of weeks and now we've got an extra bonus event happening right now. Uh, we're going to cover all the details in the video and it is in conjunction with the run up to Pokemon Day on the 27th of February. So as of recording this video it is the 22nd, the day we're actually due to get an announcement in regards to Pokemon Sword and Shield. We've got all these other announcements running up to Pokemon Day but I'm guessing this event for the max raids is in conjunction with Pokemon Sword and Shield and this is why we've got this added event. So let's not hang about, let's get into all the details here and head over to our trusty sources, Cerebi, that have already populated all the information in regards to this event. It is coined the Pokemon Day 2022 event and it is running from the 22nd of February as of recording this video until, well, we don't know when the event is gonna run till. So keep an eye on the pinned comment down below this video and as soon as we've got that information, I'll update it there. So. Starting off as usual in Pokemon Sword, we'll cover Pokemon Shield as well, uh, the one star raids. Now just make sure when you've got your one star raids, you're only going to have access to these at your very early stages of your playthrough. You'll have access to the higher star raid dens if you have got uh, more gym badges. So if you've beat the champion, you're going to have access to five star raids. Uh, if you've got your eight gym badges and above, obviously you're going to have access to the higher rated raid events that is running. So the one star raids that we've got are starting off as Ditto, Rooker D, Tutel, Blipplug, Sizzlipede, and Wooloo. You're going to have about a 15 to 17% chance of a spawn of each of these Pokemon appearing in a one star raid. And uh, no particular special items here. You're going to have your kind of normal items that you would have appearing as normal. Uh, the two star raids in Pokemon Sword are going to be again Ditto, uh, Cover Squire, Tutel, Dotler, Sizzlipede, and Wooloo. And then the three star raids we're going to see Ditto. Corviknight, Dreadnought, Orbital, Center Scorch, and Dubwool. So they are the three star raids. Again, no massively special items kind of popping out at us here. Uh, just your kind of standard regular Dynamax candies and other things like berries and TMs, etc. Again, the spawn rates for the three star raids are around 15 to 17% for majority of them, with Ditto being the rarer of the selection in the three star raids. Now, getting on to the four star raids. Um, this is where it all changes and gets very exciting because we've now got access in the four star raids to GMAX Venusaur, GMAX Charizard and GMAX Blastoise. So you've got about a 17, uh, 18 and 17% chance for spawning these uh, Gigantamax Pokemon. Uh, very exciting standard uh, shiny rate so no sh guaranteed shinies in the four star raids and you're going to get a bunch of really useful items you're going to get items like the honju berry and the other ev reducing berry so it's going to be an excellent event to take part of to really kind of stock up on these events for ev reducing so you can train your teams up tms as well and you're going to get other really useful items like the flame orb you're going to uh, the toxic orb sorry that you're going to get with the Venusaur Flame Orb with the Charizard um, and you're going to get the Toxic Orb, uh, the Life Orb with the Blastoise as well. So some really useful battle items as well as your Dynamax candies and other items like Max Mushrooms. And this is all from the four star raids. Now, if we move down to the five star raids, you've kind of got the same array of Pokemon, same kind of spawn chances, uh, but these are going to be level 80 opposed to what there will be level 50 and the four star raids. So the five star raids, again, you're going to get a bunch of the really useful items like the EV reducing berries, the TMs, flame orb, uh, toxic orb and life orb as well as the kind of max mushroom which is another really difficult item to get because you need to make max soup and then all of the dynamax candies and other things that are really useful to uh, buy and get items for building teams and things in the game. So they are the five star raids and the four star raids. This is the big news for this event. Obviously these Gigantamax starter Pokemon are really really good to take advantage of and then we'll go down to Pokemon Shield and yeah everything is exactly the same as in Pokemon Sword so it doesn't matter which copy you have uh, taken part in this event you will be able to access the same Pokemon at the same star rating so remember it is 
running from today and keep an eye on that pin section in the uh, in the comment section and I will update with the end date so you know exactly when it is ending and I'll also put a community post up as well to remind people that the event is coming to an end just before it does so hopping into game because this is where it comes into us doing it so if you are new to doing raid dens what you want to do is in game come to your mystery gifts um if you've got a raid den open i'll show you now so we've got the milsery event still running in our game um but if we come into our mystery gifts what you want to do to update all of your dens around the area now this will be the wild area this will be the crown tundra and the isle of armor all the dens in all of these areas will be able to access these event dens so you want to come into get wild area news and this will connect you to the internet once you're connected it will pop up with this message saying that all your uh, your wild area has been updated and it'll set the date and once we go back into the den it should have changed to there we go G Max Venusaur. So we've got that straight away. Now, if you're having trouble getting the G Max Pokemon, say you want to go from a four star to a five star, uh, there is a way to date skip to change the Pokemon in the den. I'm sure a lot of you are aware of this already, but if you're not, then all you need to do is just click invite others. Once this starts ticking away the timer, you want to hit your home menu, come down into system settings, go into system then down to date and time make sure that your clock is off uh, via the internet so i'll just hide the camera there so it's off and then you want to come down to date and time just hit the day forward one click ok hit your home menu come back into the game and then just quit out of the the raid den that you're currently in um, you want to be offline when you're doing this as well uh, you'll notice when you come back into the the raid den that you'll get 2000 more watts and then the Pokemon will change. So now we've got a Orbeetle. So you wanna just kind of continue doing this process over again of just changing the date until you get the desired Pokemon that you want in the den. So it can take a little bit of time, but if you've got patience, you'll get them in no time at all. It doesn't really take too long to cycle through the dens. And at the same time, you're kind of cycling what as well. So there we go, we've got the five star Venusaur, which is great. So the one thing that you can do as well is if you want to get one of these dens, you've got to make sure that it is a red beam and not one of the rarer purple beams. I come to this area in Dappled Grove, so I'll show you on the map exactly where it is. Uh, it is in the main kind of wild area, but it is right here on the map. And the reason is because I come between two uh, raid dens here, so you can just go from one to the other. So if we want to summon one, you can just need wishing pieces, which you can only do. You can only manipulate the beams with a wishing piece that you've put down into this den. So you can check this and there we go. We get the, the raid event straight away. But what you can do if you don't get it is just run straight over to this one, drop another wishing piece there and then come back and drop another wishing piece until you get the red beam that has the event Pokemon in. Uh, and you'll know it's the event Pokemon because you'll either get one of the Pokemon from the list that we've been through or it'll be a Pokemon Pokemon different to what would normally be in that den so as I say once you get the Pokemon that you want uh, you can either save in front of it now but I'm assuming that these are going to be pretty easy to get a hold of you want to we'll switch Pokemon because I don't know what I've got ah we got Landorus so we're all right um, and then we just invite others you can go online and invite others if you want um, or you can just dive in and just take advantage of getting these G-Max Pokemon while they are available. And here we go, there is the G-Max Charizard. They do have the stand standard shiny raid, so there is a possibility to get them as a shiny, but they haven't got a guaranteed shiny raid. Uh, like some of the other kind of uh, special events that we get for the max raids. So friends, that is all the details with how you access this event and take advantage of it and get yourself GMAX Venusaur, GMAX Blastoise and GMAX Charizard in Pokemon Sword and Shield right now. So I hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day. Have fun with the event. Let me know down below in the comment section which one of these is your favorite GMAX Pokemon and will you be getting it? And taking advantage of this event while it is running so thanks again friends take care look forward to reading through all the comments and i'll see you in the next video so until then take care and bye bye